Hello everyone and welcome to another indie horror game. This time I'll be playing Happy's Humble Burger Barn, another game brought to us by Scythe Dev Team, the people responsible for the North Bree Grove series, and a couple of other games that I played on the channel and really, really enjoyed. And if they're anything to go by, this is probably going to be really enjoyable as well. As far as I understand, in this game I'm going to be running Happy's Humble Burger Barn, a burger joint. I'm going to be cooking the food, sort of maintaining the place, looking after the customers, and if that sounds like something you want to do for yourselves, I'll leave the link down below in the description to where you can download this, alright? Hope you enjoy it. Let's press any key to start. <laughs> Thank you? Uh, okay. Drive to work and park on the side. Will do. Interesting way of starting. Okay. So this whole thing is supposed to have a PSX aesthetic. And uh, it seems to be fitting the bill so far. Coming soon to a theatre near you. Northbury Grove the movie. Oh, I'd watch that. Or I'd play a game about it. Up here? Okay. Ooh, I like the music. Is this John of the Shred again? He usually does the soundtrack to these games. It sounds like it might be, it's groovy enough. Okay. Oh. <laughs> We're driving towards the title and this must be the Burger Barn. So, park on the side, yeah? Somewhere over here? Oh, the arrow. Yeah, that's probably a good bet. Oh! Kick! Nearly crashed into the trees, but I didn't, and that's a win in my book. <laughs> okay, so grab your time card and clock in. Can I leave? No, but apparently I can aim at the handle. Right, so left mouse to interact. Employees only. We've got a clock in. Right. Okay. What have we got here? Okay, so that's the time card. Fantastic. It's quite dark. Do we have a... We've got a guitar. No, sorry, we've got a bass. Let's slap the bass. The shred bass. Nice. <laughs> Slapping the bass and looking at cute bitches. Nice. Oh, what the fuck? Okay, hang on. Happy the humble one. The mascot, maybe? Got a boombox, too. But uh, maybe because I'm carrying the card, I can't put it on my shoulder and listen to my tunes, so... Oh, here we go. Alright, and can I call for help? No, not yet. That probably comes later. So... Is that a... It's a light switch. Hey! Okay. So, welcome to the kitchen. And welcome to the... Stock room, I guess? There's another one. Okay. suppose I'm going to be wanting to use all of this at some point. Chilled patties, okay. Right. Uh, okay, we've got a rat infestation. Uh, I assume that's not Remy from Ratatouille. He's probably not going to be the cook. Fuck. Right. Um, read all of the instructions. Okay, well, let's just get a lay of the land, shall we? We've got, we've got fries and nugs over here. Fries. S salmon nuggets? A salmon nuggets a thing? I've never heard of salmon nuggets. We've got shakes. Soda fountain. The dr oh, God, there's a fucking drive through as well, but it's offline, thankfully. Okay. Well, uh, let's not. We've got the cameras. Okay. How to serve the customer. Check the lobby register order. Take the money. Grab the food. You'll hear a sound and see the order items disappear. Serve all the food items. <laughs> Always with a happy, humble smile. Will do. Yeah, that's the mascot. Okay. That one's offline, so it's just this one I need to use. Oh, okay. Oh, status post! That makes a comeback. Alright, that's a nice little cameo. <laughs> I uh, I can't go through the song, though. Oh, oh, okay. Ah, got ya! Right. So we've got piles of buns. Ingredients over there. There's just like a burger, food prep, right. Woo! Okay, <laughs> there's a lot going on here. According to the arrow, the open sign is over there. Let's just take a little look around, though, to start with, shall we? I've been told that there is actually a reference to me in this game somewhere, and I'm wondering if it's going to be through here in the toilets. I mean, that would be the perfect place, don't you think? Maybe in the stall? No? 
The ceiling seems to be sagging a bit. Um, okay, I couldn't actually get into those, so maybe on the other side. Okay, hang on. Uh, how do we put this down? Right click, apparently. Okay, we just <laughs> throw that wet floor sign down. Nothing. No, some urinals there. Wash your hands. No, okay. A fairly nice place, I suppose. I, I don't know about the mascot, really. And I don't like the uh, the decor on the bins. What's this? Oh, shit. It's like a hidden cassette. Oh, that... Hang on. Wait a minute. That isn't for the, uh, the boombox, is it? It is! Hey! That's why I wasn't playing. I need to find the cassette. Oh, yeah! Sweet. So yeah, Happy Deluxe Lettuce, Onion, Tomato, Pickles. I think it says something about this over here. So we just need to place the ingredients on the assembly board, which is there. That'll be the grill. Well, that's the grill, one of those. Watch as the burger magically constructs itself. The frozen patty, I saw those in there, right? Okay, yeah, I'm, I, I'm getting this. I'm getting this. I suppose we should probably... We should probably open up. Hey there. Do you moo as well? You do moo as well, okay. Right. Let's open the doors. Toggle the sign, okay. Still looking around for the reference to me. <laughs> Maybe they were just lying. Getting my hopes up. Okay, there's something down here. There's a document. <laughs> oh no, this is it! Dear CJU Gams, or Games, uh, you are the best video... <laughs> video maker in the world. Me and my friends really like your videos a lot. We believe you can do anything and you're really smart. Love Susie, Dev, and Thomas. P.S. I drew you a flower. Ah, oh, Susie, you're the best. I love you too. I'm just gonna throw that down. Right. Got a customer. I don't know if you intend to kill me or not, Mr. Customer, but let's see. Nice gormless look on your face. Uh, oh, I see. Hang on. We got the cash. So, I... Do I, do I throw him the money back? What was it? No, I, I keep the cash. That's right. Shake. Okay. Uh, ice cold beverages or the shake machine. Strawberry jacuzzi, yeah? That's right. Just did it myself. Yeah, I, okay. That's all you want? There you go. <laughs> Probably spilt it all over his crotch, but he's okay with that. All right. So what's the choices? Okay. Right, so should we um should we just start cooking up some burgers? Cause, you know, if this is here, we're probably gonna have to make a few Happy's Deluxe. Oh, hang on. There's one here. It's probably been sitting here for, I don't know, a fucking day or so, but Let's just put that there. What would you like, sir? Are you related to the guy that came in before? And you know what? Take your cash back. Yeah, I'm feeling generous today. Soft drink? Okay, uh, that means you want an ice cold beverage. Oh. <laughs> Jungle soda? Moon juice? Moon juice. Have some moon juice. Ah! <laughs> Honestly, the service might not be perfect, but it's fast. Is that money still on the floor down there? Uh, I should probably go and collect that, to be honest. But that fucking rat. Oh yeah, money's down there. Right. Ooh. That's uh that's some weird weird money. And wait, wait. It, it's the same guy coming in again and again. He just goes out, he changes clothes and comes back in. Alright, you give me some money. And then I'll give you some money back. That's how it works here. Okay. Fries and a happy's deluxe. Well, there you go, sir. Right in your gob. <laughs> Some fries as well. Um, fries. Okay, we automatically box them up. We don't have to, like, fry them, which is great. Seriously, this is really fast food. Take out all the trash from the kitchen. Um, okay. This stuff? Trash bag? Right. That way. Ah, 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 ah. 
<laughs> nice. We're going this way according to the arrow. Oh, hang on. There's another one of these mascots. There's loads of them. Over here. Got it. Just... <laughs> another one? Dump it in? No. Come on. Alright, okay, perfect. Uh, I think there were a couple more, so... Let's go and deal with those. What's this? Smoke a cigarette! This job really is that stressful. <laughs> Especially with the fucking rat. Oh, I'm sorry, sir. I'm sorry. I, I did hear the ding. Uh, so what do you want? What do you want? Soft drink and a shake. There you go, sir. I don't want your money. Soft drink and a shake. Um, shake. Nice. Soft drink. Fuck yeah. That's how we do it. <laughs> Another one? Alright. That was the ding dong of him leaving, I think. So, that goes in there. There's at least one more. Okay. Uh, I quite like this so far. It's reminding me a little bit of um, the convenience store on night shift. Just sort of going through the noise. What noise? There was a noise. It <laughs> there wasn't the rat squeaking, I assume. Why can't I get this open? Genuinely, what is that? Okay. Was it you? I think it was coming from the mascot, I'm not really sure. Why was that door closed up? Why was it locked? And why is it so damn dark when the lights are off? Really wish I had a flashlight. Okay, that that's better. No one's here? No. This is gonna end like night shift, isn't it? Oh. Wait, 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 turn that off. Jammed against the handle so I couldn't get through. Right, let's leave that open, shall we? Continue to manage the customers. Yes, yes, okay. Can I phone for help or someone? Or. No? <laughs> Thought I ought to try. Right, so yeah, I, I'm just gonna make one of these Happy's Deluxes. So, throw it on the grill. Okay. And then that's the food prep, and everything goes over there. Hold on, sir. I'm assuming that you want a burger. If you don't, then this is a waste of time. Okay, it's still chilled. It shouldn't be chilled. It should be cooked. It should be cooked, apparently, so I just have to wait. Hi there, sir. You do want a happy Stilux? Oh, okay, money. <laughs> Not necessary, dude. Oh. Cook patty, right, so that goes there, and it magically makes itself. There you go. And it was salmon nuggets you wanted, which are here. Right. Sorry, sorry. <laughs> it's still good, it's still good. Right, let's go for the perfect throw. Ugh. Sorry. Third time lucky. Ugh. There you go. <laughs> the customers are going to come in and start tripping up on that money, and they're going to sue, funnily enough. So, off he goes. Has anything else changed? I mean, that was making some strange noises. Oh, here comes another guy. The door was jammed. But who did that? Look at this guy walking in with all his swagger. What do you want, sir? You want a shake? Shake and fries. Alright, I'm going to take your money because I don't like you very much. Okay. Fries. Damn it. <laughs> and a shake. There we go. Oh, fuck. Scared the shit out of me. Got another noise. 
Che it's the the drive through speaker outside. Okay, all right, hang on. Can we get the lights on again? That's better. Okay, cool. That hasn't jammed this time, no, and it hasn't closed up. Over there? I've got a jungle soda vending machine as well. Can I? Of course I can. Uh... Is that the mascot, or is that, like, a guy in a mascot suit? It's okay. No, no, it's the same thing. It's like the... Not an animatronic, but you know what I mean. Okay, yeah, definitely time to... For fuck's sake, it's not jammed again, has it? Oh, Christ. Front door's still open. Yeah, looks like it. Yeah, he's just moved around. I didn't realise. It is so, so very dark. Okay. I am very nervous. <laughs> okay, you know what? I'm actually going to keep that jammed. I'm going to close this door, and I'm going to phone the boss. And slap the bass. Yeah, hello? Whoa, 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 what? Who put the what in the cow? <laughs> the cow's in the middle of the drive through Yeah. Is this a fucking joke? I wish it was. I don't know. What the fuck do you mean it walked over there? <laughs> Alright, I'll get someone out there to move it. Just stay put. Stop causing trouble. Okay. So someone's gonna have to come over to do it? I, I could have done it, probably. Right, more customers. More customers. So we, let's, let's just distract ourselves by making another burger, shall we? So, on the grill. Bit of lettuce. Bit of onion. If I can pick it up. Tomato. Pickles. Fun. Okay, it's the same fucking guy again. It's just like, it's brothers from the same family. We've got like eight or nine of them now. Wait right there, sir. Just shout your order to me. Throw me the money. Wait, there it is. Okay, hopefully you want a Happy's Deluxe. Motherfucker wants to, you greedy bitch. All right. Yeah, I'm gonna take the money this time. The boss is probably going to be kind of pissed off otherwise. Okay, so. Fries. Happy's Deluxe. You still want another one. You bastard. Okay. Well, let's start with the patty. I probably should just have a few going all at once, you know. Okay. Yeah. Uh, come on. Ugh. It's all about the throw. <laughs> you want to shake on the house? Apparently not. No. Okay. Chilled to cooks. There we go. Boom. Done. And off he goes, walking backwards, because he's a fucking weirdo. Hmm. Okay. Let's just turn it off, because this is kind of getting weird. I want to hear the noises. Maybe, you know, before things get real weird. Okay. And I want to hear that rat as well. Can I just, like, grab that mop and bucket and just start, like, hitting him with it or something? No? I need to deal with that little bugger. <laughs> right. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. What did you want? Now fucking two more Happy's Deluxes, you dick! You fucking duh! I hate your money. Okay. Right. Two at once. Makes sense, right? Okay, so. Lattice. Am I gonna sort of confuse the system if I put two lots of everything on the prep board right now? I think
think I might, so I'm just gonna wait. What was your other thing? Was it a fries? It was a fries, okay. There you go. So, I think one is... one's cooked. Happy's Deluxe. There you go. You, I, did the fucking rat eat the other one? Maybe I did. Maybe I was just sort of hungry at work. I don't know. Lettuce. Bun. Pickles. Tomato. And a little bit of onion. And an invisible patty. Yeah, okay. I know this is fast food, but it's not going to be quite as fast as uh, as your brother's orders, I'm afraid. So, again, you know, salmon nuggets on the house. You could have at least grabbed them, you know? Even if you're not going to eat them. <sighs> have a moo. Yeah? Did you like that? He looks so gormless. Oh, here we go. Cooked. And ready to serve. Sorry. Really shouldn't have insulted that guy, should I? What the shit. Okay. Okay, alright. This is getting kind of weird again. Do I have to go outside? Oh, Christ. Oh, what? I can't unjam it? I... Right. <laughs> I just sort of, like, ripped it off, but that was it. Or... I made a duplicate. I don't know how I did that, but I did that. Okay. I'm feeling very much like a fish in a bowl. Okay, we got a mannequin now. That's the new mascot. Just stop looking at me, please. Could you all stop looking at me? Oh fuck. Oh shit. Shit, what was that? I'm going back inside. Damn. Oh fuck. Whoa. What just happened? What the fuck just happened? So this was all like a, it was a, it's like a set. It's a closed set. Is it the Truman Show now? Was that all some sort of simulation? Everything just kind of broke down there. What's this? In emergency, push bar to open. Right. Right. <laughs> uh, yeah. This is taking a strange turn, but I'm really liking it. This way? Yeah, follow it. This is the evacuation route. Alright. Uh, are they... Are they holograms? Models? What are they? Animatronics, possibly. Just waiting to get sent in there. Okay. Weird. I can barely see a thing. Seriously, it is so dark. That way, yes. Maybe. Is that a door? Oh, it is! No, it... it an elevator, maybe. It's a simulation, right? Yeah, okay, so there's the Wage Slave, the Life Saver, the Graveyard Shift, or the Thrill Seeker. So I went through the Wage Slave one. Ooh, are these other three going to be games as well? Kind of hope so. Wait, uh, methods, a uh, trauma-based climax and a light drugging. Okay. Not so sure if I'm fond of that one. And that's why we're getting it in the different languages, and that's why we got it at the very beginning, as soon as I pressed the key to, to start. Yeah, that's right. Where are we going? Like... 
Which one is it? This one? Okay. Whoa. What the hell happened here? Outcast Island. Paragon Incorporated. Latest advancement in genetic technology. Wow. Please check in the administration desk for information regarding tours. For investment information and due diligence, Welcome investors. inform the administration, and we will expedite a meeting with our financial team. We hope you enjoy your stay, and Whoa. remember, photography, film, or audio equipment is strictly forbidden on the premises. Thank you for visiting Paragon Incorporated. Who's this guy? I feel like I've seen him before. Maybe in another one of the games? What's that? The Cheese Maze Initiative. In this series of experiments, we will attempt to influence or control the minds of our test subjects through themed auditory and visual cues. These cues will be intensified to a dramatic conclusion, at which time the subject should theoretically be under our complete control whenever they are subjected to a trigger. Test subjects who manage to break their conditioning tend to panic into a fight or flight response. We observe this behavior in only 0.5% of our test subjects. Of that 0.5%, a rare 1 out of 100 shut down completely. An even rarer 1 out of 500 got violent. They were disposed of accordingly. Each test subject is placed into a customized scenario and subjected to several cycles of therapy and programming. The therapy and programming normalizes the scenario and embeds deep mental triggers. When a subject is released back into the wild, they can now be triggered into a subservient state. The goal of this experiment is to discover a means of indefinite hyp hypnotic control and or influence over desired subjects. A constant state of hypnosis is not a desirable outcome. A so-called sleeper state of hypnosis that can be activated via verbal, audio or visual cues is ideal. Triggers can include a frequency emitted through radios and cellular devices, or images broadcast on television and computer screens. Once subjects have been triggered, theoretically, handlers can then assume control of and direct the subjects. Herding the sheep, as Dr. Grimm himself puts it. Right. Let's see. I, uh, I quite like it. So, uh, have I been hypnotized or have I sort of broken out? I don't know. Maybe if I see a pattern on a screen or I, I hear the right sound, that's it for me. barely see what I'm bumping into here, honestly. I really do wish it was a little bit brighter. Okay. Emergency broadcast. Go on. What, what should I do? What should I do? Oh. That did not sound good. <laughs> And uh, I, I should mention, actually, before I started recording, I did actually check. If you press escape, you know, sometimes you can turn filters and adjust settings and stuff like that. There's no options in this game whatsoever, so that's all we get. Okay. This one's open. The only one that is open. Ooh. Hey there. Oh. Well, I was looking for another cassette. Not this kind, though. Oh, here we are. Is it going to be Northbury Grove? <laughs> Ties into that somehow. All right. If you're watching this, I hope you made it out. I, I know I won't, but I hope this tape will. I will belong in fortuitous life. And for many years, I was shielded from the horrors of humanity and the brutality of nature. But upon taking a job from Dr. Zane Grimm, I've seen things I can't explain. Horrors that have haunted my dreams. Paragon has made massive strides in technology. We pushed humanity forward centuries. But I'm afraid we're about to send it back to the Stone Age. At first we were just trying to help the community. Grim became determined to save it. To play God. That was when our research became a... Uh, Unethical at best, and diabolical at worst. The facility is committing crimes against humanity, and I can no longer stand idly by and let this happen. Surely, we are now paying the consequences for our hubris, toying with human life, 
altering the consciousness of innocent people in sick experiments, forged of indoctrination and psychological slavery. I can't live with myself any longer. But before I shed this existence for the next, I must blow the whistle on the inhumane and cruel practices happening in this and all other outcast island research facilities. I've shipped this video and massive data packages to every media outlet I could find. From the Sabbath Broadcasting Company to Maverick Cooper. And I will expose the vile underbelly of Paragon. Dr. Grimm was once a good man, but he has lost his mind. Surely, I've lost mine as well. We cannot cure death. We cannot even cure our own avarice and vanity. And we surely cannot stop what's coming. <sighs> Is that it? That's it. Oh. Oh right, no, that's it. It's all over. So, thanks for playing. If you enjoyed this chef simulator, consider checking out the rest of our games on itch.io. Fair enough. Calling it a chef simulator, I suppose, is pretty accurate, because for the most part, that's what I was doing. Uh, and you know what? I actually did enjoy this chef simulator quite a lot. It was a very nerve-wracking chef simulator, um, but I liked the way it looked, I loved the way it sounded. I think John of the Shred, John Riley, should be thanked. There you go. Um, I like the level of interactivity. I actually like cooking the food and looking after the place. Just the, the level of detail there was really quite something. And, you know, when things did start to go, you know, wrong, when things went topsy-turvy, it was pretty freaky. It was, uh, it was really quite nerve-wracking, stepping back in and turning the lights back on and, and wondering what had happened. And then, of course, when you realize the true nature of things. I mean, I, I didn't see that coming, really, and I, I suppose I did hear or see a couple of clues along the way, but... Yeah, that came as a great surprise to me. And I think what this is going to be is them stepping away from the Northbury Grove series and starting up their own little universe to do with Paragon, Grimm, and the simulations. So I wouldn't be terribly surprised if we do see another game like this about the Thrill Seeker simulation or the Graveyard Shift, possibly. Whatever happens, I'm going to be checking it out because I love what Scythe Dev Team do. So, yeah, thank you very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed it, and I hope to see you back in another video very soon. Nearly crashed into the trees, but I didn't, and that's a win in my book. Uh, okay, we've got a rat infestation. Uh, I assume that's not Remy from Ratatouille. He's probably not going to be the cook. Okay, there's something down here. There's a document. Oh no, this is it! There you go. <laughs> probably spilt it all over his crotch, but he's okay with that. Have some moon juice. Ah! <laughs> Honestly, the service might not be perfect, but it's fast. That way. Ah, 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 ah. <laughs> Convenience store on night shift. Just sort of going through the noise. Cook patty, right? So that goes there. And it magically makes itself. There we go. Oh, fuck. Okay, hopefully you want a happy's deluxe. Motherfucker, what's to you, greedy bitch? You want a shake on the house? Apparently not, no, okay. Cooked, and ready to serve. <laughs> uh, yeah. <laughs>